happy Friday. 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 Rachel, I love hearing about people's Friday moments. Friday moment. What was your Friday? My moment? Friday moment. Ooh. Um. Well, it's only like. I, the day's just getting work. started, but <laughs> yeah. I, my workout today was really good. So I really. You good. Know, we did. Oh, you'll appreciate this. Dumbbell mm. burpees. Okay. And oh then we gosh, I hate burpees. we did um we did fifty each <gasps> break. Okay. We, well, it was partner workout. Mm. So we did 10, we did 10, 10 each round. And then we had to run 400 meters five times. Okay. So it was pretty okay. good. So yeah. as you guys are tuning in, share with us where you're visiting from. We are so excited to have everyone here today. We are making a super fun DIY iron on t-shirt today. We're using multicolored vinyl. We're using two different colors and a Three glitter. Three different colors. Yeah. Well, well I'm, I'm letting the glitter stand alone. Be like a by itself. By okay. itself. Yeah. Let it take its glory. Um, so we're going to do that today. It's going to be so much fun. We're using the little baby easy press. We're using makers going to learn fonts today. So you guys are definitely in for a treat, whether it's yesterday, we had lots of iron on beginners. So we're going to talk about doing layers today with iron on and layering like normal with the glitter. Right. Cause there like are, you know, specific things you got to do different when you're um, going to use different temperatures, you know, each iron on has its own setting. So people get worried about that, but we're going to walk you through everything. I'm also going to give you guys some great tips on trying to make sure your t-shirts um, even and make sure that it's positioned properly. I think that's a really important when you're talking about like distance from the neck, making sure it's in the center, things like that are super important for you guys when you're making your t-shirts. So as you all are tuning in, share with us what your Friday moment of the day is. Rachel, be sure to read any of them out to me. I will. I'm super excited to be hanging out with you guys. I see quite a bit of comments. Yeah, everyone's saying hello. Hey. Um, it's Carol's first time watching live. Carol, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for watching live with yes. us. We have people from New Jersey, Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee, Yay. Texas, North Carolina, we have people from everywhere. We do. It's such a great day. I hope you all are really excited. It's the weekend, guys. Tanner, why are you wearing long sleeves? Um, because it feels so good. When outside. I got awoken at 6 a.m. <laughs> when... by the storms, I felt oh like gosh. when I went to my gym class this morning, I would be running outside. Oh, yeah. But, you know, I park in a garage now. <laughs> so I didn't get wet. It stopped raining before I even left for the gym. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I woke up at like 5 15 and I was just like, wow this this 20 percent chance of rain just turned into like a monster but it literally stopped at like 7 a.m yeah but it was hard I'm like it, five it was to crazy seven, she was going you know the yeah. su if you are in the east or the south you all know this um and, or the north um storms here or on the east coast are crazy like and unpredictable unpredictable they're really interesting people on the west coast don't understand that it can just like torrential downpour and thunder and lightning so bad and then be totally fine. Like, boom, here's yeah. the sun, guys. Let's draw yeah. this up. You're like, oh, wow. It's great. So, guys, there's so much to get ready for. Now, if you're wanting to talk about our fonts today, we're so excited to talk about fonts because we're using Nap Time, which is one of my favorites because it's just a really great overall font. Um, yeah. We're super pumped for that. We're we, using, haven't, we haven't made enough font projects. We have we not. Haven't. We just haven't. So, we're also yeah. using... This is an interesting collection that we're going to talk about today um, that is... Featuring our little piece out here, get the get second camera and do it justice. Woohoo! Um, so, this is the Nap Time font. And then our little piece out, this is from a new collection that is ding bat, ding bats. So, these are all about little ding back images, ding backs. Bat. Bats. Bat. Oh my gosh. I'm ding bat. Barely able to talk. It's Friday. Guys. I need a break. <laughs> um, but super cool. We're going to be able to talk to you guys about multi layers. Really easy shirt for the last day of school for your kids. If you, you know, are having kids get out, you know, in a few days. A few any weeks. grade. You any can say grade. peace out high school, peace out yeah. college. Like do anything. This do whatever font, you want. Guys. Yeah. You know, whatever you got, uh, massage therapy school, anything you got going on. Wow, Tanner. How did, when, I have wow, a friend. I have a friend that's random. in massage therapy school. Okay. <laughs> she well, goes to the gym with me and she was talking about how expensive it was. But anyway, so we're so excited. Is massage therapy school mis expensive? I mean, it's not free, so yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> you know everyone thinks I guess if it's is... not free, it's expensive. Right. That's, what, that's my motto. But we're so excited. And guys, with the fonts, they are only available to yearly members. So it's Friday. 
it's payday for a lot of people out there. If you are like, oh my gosh, I'm ready to get crafty. I want to take advantage of the membership. Today's a great day to join because you can get your yearly membership and get crafty today. It's so much fun. Um, we love everything in the membership. So again, our yearly members not only get access to all of our amazing cut files, all of our amazing fonts, but they also get these three um, courses, the value of the membership pretty much for completely free. Free, free. So we love it. You guys can see all the things that our year members get. Um, if you are wanting to just get a monthly membership, today's a great day to do that. So you can get crafty. Um, all members get access to the over a thousand cut files we have, all of the member only projects, the Facebook group, our printable guide. I love, oh, Rachel bound it back for me. Oh, Look, it's back. It's back and better than ever. But this is the Cricut printable guide. We do not mail physical copies of this. This is a PDF and it is a freebie. For I think you guys that's to even download. more fun though because you guys can laminate, bind them, put them however like, you want. Yeah, you can really personalize it. A things. lot of people have Makers Gonna Learn binders um, that they have all their printable guides and then their printables for the cut files and fonts. So yeah. you can do that. Yeah. It's super cool. And we have cool. more guides than just this available. Right, guys. right. We tons of guides. So we love it. So anyway, we're super excited to jump into what we're crafting today. Um, but before we do, do we have any questions, comments that you'd like to Let read? Let me see. Uh, we have a ton of people saying, like, what when their child graduates or, you know, from the grade. And it's all coming up. Oh, and we're good. so excited that we've hit that because it was yes. our goal to be a little bit ahead. Right. So you guys could get inspired to do this. But people are saying, my son finishes second grade. It's Aww. my sister's last day of eighth grade. Mm. So this is like a perfect last minute. Get in yes. your scrap bin and do it. You know? Definitely, definitely, definitely. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the font category. And again, you have to be a yearly member to be able to go to the fonts and actually download them. So here's nap time. And as always, there's two different ways to download our fonts. You can click the download button from right here, or you can click on it and go to the individual page. So you can scroll down and then, you know, learn all about it and just click download. And then we're going to open in any font. Now, if you guys are using um, the desktop or laptop, you do not need this additional software to be able to do this. Um, it's only for iOS, so that's super fun. Um, but here's a little nap time. It's an adorable font. Like, I'm so excited to use it. It's going to be really, really good. Just go install this here. But we absolutely love crafting on our iPad in Design Space. It's oh, super yeah. user-friendly. I would recommend it for newbies. Like, if you're just kind of wanting to know what you'd like to use if you have an iPad laying around, try and use it. It's really easy to navigate. It really is. And, I, guys, I'm so excited. If you have not got registered for the Cricut Pro class, we are going to be doing lots of good stuff with our Cricut. Like, we are so excited to become a Cricut Pro Master. It is going to be so much fun to give you guys out those certifications. And we even have a little special offer if you use the coupon code PRO2. So that launches June 7th, and we're getting pumped. But the reason I say that is because there's lots of good training on working with fonts and things like that coming to that course. So we just downloaded that font and after we download it, we must kill the Cricut app. So double click on your iPad and just clear out these apps. So this kills the app, quote unquote, um, and it's gone. So we're good. And then the next thing we're going to download is we're going to go to Safari and we're going to go back to Makers Gonna Learn and we're going to click on Cut Files. And we're going to look through the ding, ding back. Um, because we love them. And I think they have their own category. They do. do, 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 do. Found the Top row. Found it. Oh, yeah. I saw it and then I lost it. So funny. So under dingbats, you're going to be able to scroll through and see that there's a lot of little images. So we have little peas. Mm -hmm. um, and you might recognize some of these from other collection files. Yes. But we wanted to make them super there Specific. and usable for you guys. Like there's a lot or of different. Taco. Yeah, yeah. So we just kind of plucked some of these from our cut files that you might want to use with your fonts. My favorite thing to do is pair dingbats with fonts. Oh, it's so Definitely. much fun. And you guys will love it. Like our little Easter ones, Amazing Grace. I mean, there's some that you're like, okay, these could be fonts. But then you got little hearts. Um, you know, little pine trees. The, I love the scissor tape and um, paintbrush, the sunrise. These are things that we just feel like you guys had no idea we even had. So it's a lot of fun. So we're just going to go back to page one. 
So Rachel, are there any comments? Has anyone shared their Friday moment? No one has. Guys, please it, share with us. It would make my day better I know. if you all shared your Friday moment. Friday moment. Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Barbara said, "Is removable vinyl okay?" I don't mean. I don't know if she means in general or for this specific project. For this project, we're using it. We're putting it on a T-shirt, so I would not recommend removable vinyl on a T-shirt. You will need some really awesome heat transfer vinyl. It is called HTV, or if you're at Cricut.com, it is called Iron-On. This is the same thing, though. Don't let anyone trick you that iron on and heat transfer vinyl is anything different. Because it's not. It's not. And Elaine says, do you install and when you finish, or and when you finish with the font, can you uninstall to save the space? I hope that makes sense. Um, you will, no, you're not able to uninstall it. But we've never had a problem with our space. Yeah, I, I, their fonts are very low. Believe it or not, fonts do not take up near as much space as, say, something like a video. So we're just going to press this download button right here. And it's going to instantly download it. So we're just going to click more and we're going to click copy to iZip. So iZip is what we use to unzip files and things like that. And let me see. Ooh, Melanie said her Friday moment was because she opened her eyes. Yes, Melanie. Woo, stay praise humble. the Lord. Jesus lets you open your eyes. Me too. Yes, I love that. Uh, Tracy said, I, my Friday moment was that I took today off to spend with you. Oh, we're so happy. That is so sweet. So we're in the Cricut Design Space app, and please keep the Friday moments ready because as soon as I upload this okay. file, I want to hear more. Absolutely. Um, just, to, just FYI, I'm still ex obsessed with the Friday moments. So share yours. We're going to sprinkle them in. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to click Upload, and I'm going to Browse Files. And then on my iPad under iZip, we're going to find Peace. So it's this easy to find your cut files and get them in Cricut Design Space. Now, what I love about our membership is that after you download the files from our site, you get these forever. So you're going to get value from our cut files forever and ever, no matter if you're a member or not. Just if you do not have an active yearly membership um, and you joined after March or so, you are not able to get a commercial use license. These are only for our year members and we have this cut file. So then you're able to go to recently uploaded and you can see Look at all our cut files. They're so beautiful. They're in Cricut Design Space. We love it and they're there. So it's awesome. So, okay. What's another Friday moment? Okay. Another Friday moment. I'll Ooh, switch to you for a few I'm seconds. ready. Another Friday moment is, uh, let me go up. Amanda said, it's my daughter's 18th birthday. Happy, Ooh, happy birthday, birthday, Haley. Happy birthday, Haley. Yes. Uh, Lori, cracking me up, said, hey, my Friday moment is that I only have four days left for students and then it's summer. <laughs> You can Get be crafty. <laughs> yes. Let me see. Tammy's is that um, her baby graduated high school. Oh, congratulations, Absolutely. Tammy. Let me see. Frye, I'm off of jury duty for the day. Now I can catch a live. Bless your heart, jury duty. Yes, thank you for oh, your service. Absolutely. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. So much fun. I love it, love it, love it. So, guys, we are just so excited to be here. I mean, again, if you're just tuning in, we're sharing with you a multi-layer heat transfer vinyl project with the easy press and linda Super says excited. sorry i just tuned in in order to use these fonts do you need to be a member yes linda if you are not a yearly member you have to be yearly to get our fonts so you're our missing fonts, out yeah you're gonna love our fonts with our year membership you get a whole year of crafting with us you get new cut files every month new fonts new projects new videos Free commercial license. Free commercial license. The Facebook group. The Facebook group. And then all the bonuses that Tanner wants to give you because he's way too nice. We love all of our bonuses, guys. So if you have not went ahead, the link that Rachel shares is makersgonnalearn.com slash join. And what I love about it is it breaks down our membership to a T. Scroll through this page, see all that you get with the year membership. And guys, guess what? I have a little, a little secret. I don't talk about this a lot on live streams, but if you are someone you know, that loves crafting in general. First of all, you can go here and learn about the membership and all that we have to offer. Um, every membership comes with new cut files every month, access to the existing library, the Facebook group, online crafts and project tutorials. Um, what we also have is that we talk about fonts for yearly members. You can see that we have the yearly best value tier here. Um, and then do, 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 we have you know, what is for only for yearly members. So you can see that breakdown really right out of the gate that you do not get these perks unless you're a yearly member. And say, you know, you look through this entire page, which is a lot of information. Um, 
you can tr not sure you can try a cut fall out before you purchase so if you are maybe not even sold on the membership just go here and click get your free cut fall and you're going to be able to get a free cut fall um, from us so either way check that out and you can get a membership if you're ready to get crafty um, or you can just get a free cut fall and uh, Elizabeth has a question. She hey. she's super clear. It's Elizabeth Vera. Hey, she's Elizabeth. She's super clear. She is not going to cancel soon or anything like that. She's just curious if a person does cancel, do they get to keep the files that they download? Like, yes. what is that about? So, what I love about our membership is, guys, I'm all about value, 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 value. That's why we have, you know, our yearly membership is such a great tier. We have so much in it. Um, if you for some reason need to cancel, your situation changes you know, you may lose your job. We've had that happen, unfortunately. Um, you will be able to um, take care of your membership. So with all the cut files that you have downloaded before you, you know, at, and you cancel the ones that you've downloaded, you get to keep forever. So, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I won't sneeze just one time. I've been sneezing like three or four times in a row. Happy. It's been very terrible. So yes, you do get to keep those, Elizabeth. Congratulations. And Michelle just tuned in. Hey, she Michelle. says, is this different? Than, <coughs> bless you. Oh is this gosh. different than Cricut Access? Beginner here and getting my maker this weekend. What was the name? Michelle. Michelle. Yes, it is different than Cricut Access. So it's a membership that we launched two years ago. Um, and you get, there's, it's a place for education. It's a place for inspiration and motivation. So you get the cut files, you get the fonts. If you're a yearly member, um, if you're a monthly member, you get access to all our cut files and projects, but fonts are a member, a yearly member perk. For so, sure. Yeah. And you get the free commercial license too, which yes. means you can sell what you make with and your And since Michelle, you're a beginner, you get three courses completely free which is like the value of the whole year membership. You get to learn how to use your maker, which congrats, you're getting it this weekend. Um, you're gonna be able to learn design space. And if you choose, build a business with your die cutting machine. So um, second of all, you get the inspiration. So you get project ideas like we're making today. And third of all, you get motivation from us every single day here at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time, getting crafty. So anyway, super excited for that. Congratulations to everyone getting docketing machines um, or, you know, getting a membership yeah. today. It's and Friday. I love that you're already on here, Michelle, browsing and you don't even yeah. have your cricket. You want to get ready. Yeah, you got to plan ready. your project. Love it. Super yes. great. Good for you. Um, so yeah, so we've downloaded, we've got our little dingbat mm -hmm. here. What we're going to do is just leave it right there and we're going to click on text and I'm going to search under system fonts. So we're going to use a system font today. And we're going to use, doo -doo -doo, the name is nap time. So here's nap time. I love it. So we're going to type out peace. And Crystal just wants to know, does that commercial license work in any state? Yes, it does. It does. Any country, um, you know, it's all good. So yes. So peace. And then we're going to use system font. Peace out. Actually, what I'm going to do, no, I'm going to actually make it too different. Peace out. And then I'm gonna make that all uppercase. Do, 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 do. And these fonts are all about playing with it. Oh you yeah. Play with it. You see the lowercase, uppercase. You see how you want it. You see the placement. I have a habit. I don't know if it's a bad habit or not of making every word its own Upper. text box. Oh, I do that a lot too. Like I'm a, just so I can get like the maximum amount of you know play right. in my. Right. So in my since this on our sample, we have been able to do two colors. Um, we have this, you know, green and this orange. I'm going to teach you guys how to make it one text box and how to manipulate that. So let me just click back on piece. So what we're going to do is re press return and we're going to copy in, you know, we have a third grade. Let's do, I like the idea of peace out high school. Um, so we'll do, oh, actually, yeah, high school song. Um, you can do preschool, you can do any of that. So peace out, um, or it says peace and then high school. Um, what we're going to do now as you can see here, that's a lot, like that's not enough space. So we're gonna go to edit and we're gonna select line space and we're gonna space those out a little bit more. So you just press that uppercase right here um, and it just is adding space. And you can say, oh, I want some more. Just to space that out. And then what you can do is go to layers and change that color to, you know, what we're gonna do today which is probably, mm, we're probably gonna do it in black and then we'll do out in pink. So we'll leave that black, but what we'll do is change out 
to a little some pink action. Ta-da! I clicked the wrong layer. See what I did there, guys? I selected the out layer, but I was still on the color setting for this. So go back to black, and then you must click on this right here um, as an out, and then change it. Tricky sometimes. Tricky. Tricky. Sometimes you get frustrated and confused, and I'm like, I sometimes get frustrated and confused too. So it's totally okay. So I'm going to size this down just a little bit. And, you know, in, since you're in the software, you can, you can tweak it. You can move it around. You can do whatever you want with it if you Because this like. is your shirt, guys. It's your, your shirt. shirt. And uh, Oma says, is there somewhere in Maker's Gonna Learn on the dashboard to help me get my cut files um, into Design Space? <gasps> that is a great question. Okay, so this is something that is very underrated. Excuse me. So I agree. Let's go to the dashboard. Now, under member resources. Now, first of all, we have videos on videos explaining how to add the cut files. So if you need a specific video on how to do that, please let me know um, via email, hi at makersgonnalearn.com. But under member resources, the second link is a Makers Gonna Learn printable guide. And sometimes a printable guide is way better for all of this. So it's Makers Gonna Learn printable guide. It'll teach you how to download a collection. And I just want to make sure we have it right here. So this is our old site and how we would download cut files. So we'll update this. This is a great reminder. Um, this is our old site, but the process is kind of the same. So you all you need to do is pick the cut file you want and press that orange download button next to it instead of downloading the And the new one's collection. so much easier because instead of downloading the whole darn right. collection, you're just downloading one file at a time, which is right. a lot easier to work with, especially if you're a beginner. Definitely. And if you're wanting to know how to upload, the process steps are exactly the same. So you can read um, and follow that. You just select the folder, upload the image, and then you can see it there. So yes, yeah. we do have resources there. And we, and we have it if that. you're a visual learner or if you want to read it, that's totally yeah. fine. Yeah. So we have videos, I'm sure, on here. And then, you know, we've got a bunch of stuff Definitely. everywhere. And what I recommend is what we have here. This is called Beginner Start Here. A lot of you have been telling me these links have not been working. Um, we have an intro to Cricut Design Space, which is fantastic. You can also go to the video section of the site and be able to top in SVGs, since this is what you get in our membership. And you can see how to use SVGs on your iOS app. If you top in cut files, um, you can search under videos and you can see how to download SVG and import into Cricut Design Space. This is the video you will need if you would like to know exactly how to do that with your um, membership. So we teach that too. So we, yes. Lots of ways lots to get Lots of resources, guys. Lots of resources We don't just throw them you. cut files at you. No, never. We give you lots of resources and different things. So here's our Peace Out High School. Um, but what we're going to do is now we got to figure out what exact size we want. Because right now it's 13 by 7 inches. That's a little too big. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our t-shirt, open it up right here. Sorry for the watt on watt action. But we are going to be able to take a measuring tape. Where's the measuring tape? Oh, I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. Rachel, did I Where's steal it? it? Uh, oh, it's behind me? me. It's behind me. Oh, good. I was good. Like, Thankfully, it? arms reach. So you can see here, my tip, guys, if you are making a t-shirt today, I do not like to do, and this is just me, I don't like to do t-shirts wider than about eight inches. I don't care if it's a kid shirt. Like, this is a medium kid shirt. You want me to get it? No, I got it. I'll I'll get it. Um, this is a medium. This is a medium t-shirt, and um, it's super you know easy to have a kids t-shirt, especially if you're picking them up at Michaels. But um, I don't like to make anything wider than eight inches. That's all um, for adult t-shirts or kid anything. Especially kids shirts and stuff. Yeah, you know? like even with a kids shirt, you could do smaller. But it's a pretty good size either way. So I'm probably going to just change that width right here after selecting all the layers and i have a i have a call oh my gosh i'm raising my hand what is wrong rachel with you me? always I'm raise your it's hand. hilarious <laughs> um just because i'm thinking it might look better you tell me this mm -hmm. is just the time mm -hmm. we're gonna twist it out high school is supposed to be two words not one oh word. thank you and what if we made scope like put school underneath high maybe the placement would just look better but, school I mean, underneath high yeah like high and then school like the yeah. word like you know put a little yeah. Turn there. Okay. So for some reason, 
And let me know if this has been happening to you guys. I don't know why, but with some of our fonts, it will not give me um, a new, like, do, 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 what am I trying to say? Well, um, the spacing would Yeah, the work. spacing was not is not proper. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take that layer, and I'm just going to duplicate it, and I'm going to turn that into school. That's an easy way to do that. Yeah, look at that. And then, mm, mm. Like a, hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I think I know what you're saying. Okay. I know how I said nothing. I was just like, like a, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And this is what happens, guys. You just yeah, play Yeah, you got to play with it. So then you Just you're play like, around eh, with it. Do I want this? I mean, I kind of like that, but I don't know. High school is just a really long word. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's going to look kind of intriguing. Right, but it, like it, maybe if you brought the hand, the little peace sign down, if the school was lower. Right, 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 right. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to abort mission on abort what mission. I was doing. We're aborting mission? I'm going to duplicate again. Um, and then take out. We're aborting the mission, guys. Hey, while oh, Tanner's no. doing that, go get your membership. I'm going to pop yeah. the link in the Great. <laughs> I'll Sweet. pop the link in the comments. It's got the little, What's the little party boxes. What's everyone talking about? What's everyone great. talking about? Um, let's see. Violet says, good morning from Florida. My Friday started with having a doctor's appointment. I'm not usually awake till 10, awake till 10 because retirement is great. Oh, Aww, that's awesome. Yes. I love that. Tanner, do you ever, this is a funny question. Oh gosh. Do you ever look forward to being retired? I mean, yeah. You're the type of person that struck me to like work until you die. No joke. I mean, like I think you're gonna work until you, you kill. I mean, over. I'll probably be intrigued in things, but I mean, I definitely think a. a like I can never pace. picture you just like being retired and like playing golf and stuff, like, like doing probably doing not. like a hobby or having a hobby. Probably not. I and mean, I was just born a workhorse. That's just. What I'll it find is. something. I'm hoping my children and grandchildren wear me out or something. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> they will. They have so guys, children. I did not just go through this um, intentionally without explaining, but I really needed to just play around with it. Um, so what I have, was able to do was I made out definitely larger because it's a different color. So you really want to emphasize that, right? But then I was able to enlarge high, so it's a little bit larger, and then school. And I think this spacing works really well. And then you'll be able to position this right over to the side. And you could do this if you're wanting to do something like high school or some wording. I think this right here also works really well. Um, I love the little angled. No, and that's the great thing about this is that it's not it's just a like a, it's not like a one trick pony. You right, know? this you is just a make font. it exactly. You how get you want to do it. what you want with it, and we have lots of videos. And again, the pro class is going to be great for going deep with you guys and explaining. So we still have that coupon code PRO2 at checkout for that. That course launches June seventh. It is twenty projects, guys. Twenty full projects, start to finish tutorials. You guys are going to love, love, love that. So I highly recommend taking full advantage for that. And if you do not have a membership, um, that would be a great time to get it because it's Friday. Treat yourself. We yes. love that. And I just really got humbled. Mm. Um, Candace humbled. said, your job is everyone else's hobby. How lucky. And Aww. I'm just like, oh, man. That's oh, so Candace. sweet. Candace, you right. That's true. That's very true. Um, so what we're going to do now to make this permanent for our black layers is I'm going to move out over. And what I'm going to do is select the three black layers, and I'm going to click Actions, Weld. That's going to weld that in place. No going back now. No going back now. Mm -mm. You could also attach it, but I'm, I know this is what I want. So say you were going to change high in school, you would want to, well, first of all, undo, and then undo again. So just leave these three separate layers. And would you also want to go ahead and just make sure um, and align those just to make sure they're all... Like said, that's just one thing that I would also do. I mean, I so like to align them sometimes just because I think my eye deceives me. But like, it looks completely fine. Like, if anything, we're I just would talking about if people are like super right. anal. Like, you can go through and click edit and click align, and you can line them all three. Well, so there's this is line center. You can't really do this because of the spacing. So, see where we have this extra space, you can't really align them. What you could do if you wanted to redo it all is center it and then pull them and use smart guides, that's a possibility. But yeah, this right here, when you have like special spots and things like that, um, you know, smart guides is great because it kind of helps you let you know 
where center is. So see, this is center with peace, but it may not be centered with school. So it kind of like lets you know, and then it looks like, you know, these are pretty, pretty center because it has that little orange line. Can you guys see that orange line? Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay, they, okay, cool. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit hard, but visually, do you see anything that you would change, Rachel? No, I don't. No. Okay, I, that's just, a great question. Just, no, that's thinking, a like, thinking question. in my head. I feel like I've done that before. I love smart I feel guides. like what I did was I selected, like if I would, if out was out, I would select yeah. high school, attach it. Mm -hmm. And then, well, not, not attach it, but I would select those two and then align it and then attach right. it. And then with peace and then high school attached, so it's like one, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it Maybe that would right. That's super cool. I don't know. Um, but There's yeah. really no wrong answer. However There's However you get to the end point, great. <laughs> yes. Um, but what you would want to do, I totally lost my train of thought, select these three and then either attach or weld. Weld is super permanent. Attach, you can go back and change. So we'll use that. But you have to use weld when you're using any kind of cursive font mm -hmm, that touches or anything. Mm -hmm. I've made a lot of mistakes with that. Totally, totally. Me too. Been there. We all been there. Um, so peace out high school. It's gonna be so much fun. We can now select that and click edit, and we can make that with. We'll do 7.5, just because we switched it up a little. It's a little bit larger. And now what I'm going to love is that we're just gonna be able to click make it, and it's gonna break it down for us on different mats. So now. Here's where I'm always kind of intrigued. You can take this and kind of manipulate it. So if you only wanted to cut out two different mats, which is what I'm gonna recommend doing since we're using two different types of material, we have a black and a pink everyday iron-on, then we have our glitter iron-on. So that's two different settings. So I'm gonna also cut out on the same mat. So when you're reviewing your mats, all you need to do is click that dot, dot, dot and click move to another mat. So we're gonna move that to mat one and then all we're going to do is move out over here. Yeah. And then you could also just make a mental note in design space that that's going to be a different color. And then you just don't have to change the color and then right. switch the mats. Right. But sometimes it's a little tricky. So I love just moving it just for that, ver for the visual effect of it um, so that you know. So what I'm going to do here is put our black iron on down. Do you have enough black? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It goes to... Let's look at the five, the five inch mark and it goes down to the five inch mark. So okay, good. just make it sure. Yeah. Um, and then we can take this pink layer and we're just going to put it over here in this top right corner. And then what I'm going to do is grab this handy dandy Cricut True Control knife and just cut us out a little, a little piece. Just like so. So then it's on the mat. All good to go. So hopefully this is going to blow some people's minds that if you're, if you're a beginner, and I've never done this before, you know, it's gonna be really cool. So one, two, three, four, five, one. Okay. Measure twice, cut once, Tanner's yep. doing it. Um, I don't, wait, one, two, three, four. Whoa, I'm so glad I caught this, guys, because this was not long enough. Sometimes when you eyeball it, you think you have enough iron on, but you don't. So that's terrible. So here's what we're gonna do. Just to give us plenty of room, just go cut us a piece nice and long just for today's projects and sake. So don't want to have to make another craft bell on camera. I do enough of those. So that's why you really have to double check yourself. You, I feel confident all the time in my cricketing, but let me tell you, there's times that things happen and mis make mistakes. So I've loaded that into the machine. We're going to press continue. Yeah, mirror it. Oh, well, thanks. See, I almost made another mistake. No, he would have caught it because it reminds you. Once you select the iron on, it says make mm -hmm. sure it's mirrored and mm -hmm. everything. So I've turned mirror on. I'll go ahead and turn mirror on for our second mat too because why not? Um, we're going to select iron on. We're using everyday iron on, so we're going to press that. And then we're going to turn on fast mode. See how it reminds you? Yeah, so it great. reminds us. It's so good. We'll, we'll be all good to go. So I'm going to press that flashing cricket button. And guys, if you're loving everything you're seeing here in today's video, be sure to check out our membership just because we have so much value, so many amazing cut balls, training videos. I mean, we have such amazing pieces on our site that you get access to if you're a member. And it's so good for everyone at home that loves our free videos here on YouTube. You'll definitely love, love, love that membership. So do we have any questions, any more fry yay moments? Let's see here. Mm. 
Mm -mm. Denise said, my husband retires in June. Ooh, That's congratulations. Awesome. And then Sandy, Sandy Christmas. Hey, Sandy. She said, my husband retired at age 70 for two years, and neither of us were happy. <laughs> so he went back to work part-time. Now he's happy, and Aww. he's a workaholic. See, that's just That's how people awesome. Are. Yeah. Well, hey, do what you got to do. Am I right? Am I right? I th if I remember correctly, I think, ugh, I forget. Somebody close to me, I think, tried to retire, and then that just wasn't happening. Mm. I forget mm. who it was. But my, my memo stays very, very busy. Like yesterday and today, Tanner graciously oh, let me go, go do a yard sale with her. She's 70, guys, okay? Amazing. And she's got like a an antique booth mm -hmm. in like a little antique mall she downtown. Busy. She likes to buy and resell things. She stays busy. I don't even know how. Yeah, she's super busy. And Elaine says, how often do new fonts come out? So they come out every quarter. They did originally. Um, so we just dropped another 80. So after... May, June, July. Um, in August or July, they'll start coming out 20 by 20. So we'll launch, like when we launch a new, we'll have a cut fall launch and then we'll have a font launch every month. But since we promised you guys 80 every quarter, we're still doing that. We just switched it to 20 a month or 25 a month or 30 a month. Whatever ends up being 80 a quarter. So we're not going to do the math. Do that math. <laughs> you, got yeah. do, you got it. You got it. I think it, there's four months and a quarter. January, February, wait, is it three months? It's four, three eight, months. 12, so three, there's three quarters in three, a year. Three, there's four quarters in a year. Three, six, nine, twelve. Oh my God, oh my God. There are, three, six, nine, twelve. <gasps> Thank God Tanner doesn't pay me to do my or else. <gasps> Guess what, them checks would be, oh. Oh my slim. gosh, that's funny. I do not do my It's okay. Okay. I've had a count change for the past two days. <laughs> count change for Yeah, who? no, the yard sale people, they'll give me, They'll have $2. Like, what they buy is $2. And they're like, can you break this 50 I'm like, do you think I have that much change? I'm scrounging. Mm -hmm. Look at the couch. Mm -hmm. It's hilarious. I know your mama has got all kinds of... She, Tanner, she has a fanny pack. Stop. No. She, Where's the photo? She crams all her money in a fanny pack. And uh -huh. literally, if $1 is laying on the table, she's like, Rachel, put that away. Somebody's going to steal it. I'm like, first of all, Memo, you don't give enough credit to these humans that on this earth. That is so funny. Second of all, she cracked, she's got it like strapped around her she's crazy. on her belly and she's she just crazy. she crams all that money or fanny pack i love her i love it um i'm now going to demonstrate to you all this cuts on glitter iron on first of all when you're switching different materials be sure to go into the software and tell it you're cutting a different material i've not made i've made that mistake far too many times so please do not do that for yourself but i'm going to also demonstrate weeding vinyl or htv no, without dear. a mask. No. I'm doing it because Why would you do I just want to show you guys what you're missing out on if you are not already. So, Tanner, I cringe when I watch people weed off the mat. What you mean not using the off mat? The mat. Off yes. the mat. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you guys terrible. are missing out. So, yep, we put this down here. We're going to load this in and just cut this out. It's going to be all good. People are saying fanny packs are coming back. They in. are. Did you not know that? No. -uh. Oh, yeah. A they're, fanny they're in. Pack? They're in rage. So, okay, guys, now let's break it down why this is so confusing. So, I'm literally having to, first of all, use my hand to, like, keep the iron on down because it's like... I'm miserable for you, Tanner. I know, I know. So, then you have to, like, get your initial... Did I not press the flashing cricket button? Oh, maybe I didn't. Whoopsie. I'm going to move the... I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt, and I'm really going to try weeding on this because I haven't tried it in a few months because, I mean, I'm smart, but... Because I'm smart. But... It's just so much harder because you're really having to worry this hand to keep the iron on down. And then it doesn't look like when you I mean, pull it's just it, when you hard. weed it. Look it's, at this, Tanner Bell. I know. Like it's not, this is not in, in, infomercial. I don't make any like real like. This isn't an infomercial. This is not, I'm like not trying to sell you guys anything. It's just so hard to weed not on the map. And it I literally feels the, like it's the wrong way. I can't use the true control knife because I don't have a craft mat to cut on, oh so I'm having gosh. to use my scissors to get this extra HTV. So it's so funny. But yeah, what's everyone saying in the comments? Let us know they're, what you've got going on. They're still talking about the fanny, fanny packs. packs because I remember I had a fanny pack when I was in like a fifth grade and wow. we went, I was homeschooled. Guys. DC. It's not like, oh my gosh, yes, I was I've in DC. seen the picture, Rachel. Yes, well. Okay, look, now, what, before you continue, this is just not as relaxing. Anyway, what happened you with the You mean miserable, pack? it's miserable. I know. 
I had a fanny pack and all I had in it, guys, you're gonna, guys, you're gonna die. You're gonna be like, wow, yes, that was totally that time. This is like early 2000s, okay? Oh God. I had my fanny pack. Inside my fanny pack was my very first flip phone that I bought myself. Uh, from I was Walmart. gonna say MP3 player. And then I had a fan hanging out of the fanny oh my pack. God. And then inside the fanny pack, I had extra batteries for that fan. Oh, no. And a, maybe a couple bucks. Like, that's probably what Where's I the MP3 player? Pack. Where's the CD player, Rachel? Um, I. I had an iPod Shuffle. A Ooh, long time ago. you're fancy. Forget the Little MP3. iPod Shuffle. Yeah, yeah, had that. Yeah, so here's why you eat on the mat, guys. My poor left hand is just super. I'm trying to think if I've seen anybody. That's Rachel, trying to be stylish totally... with a fanny pack nowadays. Everyone, I'm not, and I'm not hating on them. Listen, I don't like purses. I hate purses. I have a phone with a couple cards in it, and that's it. But sometimes if, if I needed to carry cash or a chapstick or some gum or something, yeah, I'd want it strapped to me. It's easy breezy. Right. But I, don't, I just don't remember if, I'd, if I've seen them. Have, where have you seen a fanny pack? It's just like common knowledge that they're trending again, Rachel. And are they different colors or at least? I mean, they're, there's just all kinds of different fanny pack hmm. options in the world. I mean, what, hmm. what kind of fanny pack do you want? We could Amazon you one today. A fanny pack? Fan yeah. You're not in the shot. I don't know oh, if you no. wanted to be. I just... Yeah. And people, ooh, ooh, are those Tim Holtz scissors? Oh, says? you all, if you have not been watching, I had a whole rant about how amazing these scissors are and how I have different sizes and how fantastic they are. Guys, I do not work with Tonic. I do not work with Tim Holtz. I appreciate his artwork, um, and I mainly appreciate his scissors. So yes, I love I love them. I am all for it. Leopard print fanny packs. A leopard. Ooh. Leopard print. Rachel fanny needs packs. a leopard print fanny. Oh gosh. Now I love my Kavu bags. When I do have to jerk a bag around, I like my Kavu uh -huh. bags. Uh huh. Fanny packs. Fanny packs. Maybe. Maybe Memo's the one who brought them back in style. Yeah, I mean, I think she's just a trendsetter. It cracks me. I know that bell bottoms are back. I don't. Well, and, and so it's, it's like also a book like, cut, but they go way big. So you know how like those plastic makeup cases are back in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's kind of like everything that was retro that was out is back. So it's oh kinda... my gosh, yes! I just saw that. Oh, what was it? What's that really big, big cooler brand? Um, Super Yeti. Big. Yes, Yeti. I saw that Yeti came out with a uh, retro, exact like collection of coolers and stuff. <gasps> cool, that's awesome. So now we're gonna weed out. Now we're gonna weed on the mat, and this is glitter, guys. So this would be even harder to weed. Now, first of all, it's a little hard to see. So if you're like, I can't see, neither oh. can I, kind of. Kathy's fanny pack had a holder for a water bottle. Wow. You're gonna sell me, Kathy and Tanner, with water bottle wow. holder. Wow, I'm ready. I'm ready. I would totally wear a fanny pack. Me at Dollywood with a fanny pack. Hello. That would be hilarious. Well, I I traipsed all around. DC with my fanny pack. I kept checking to make sure I had those spare batteries in my cell phone. I thought oh I was gosh. just gonna. And then somebody told me with my childhood anxiety that people oh pickpocket so bad over there. So I thought someone was gonna pickpocket straight out of my fanny pack, and my fanny pack was literally like on my stomach. Okay, I don't understand. Pickpocket that. I don't understand why people get so worked up when pe they're traveling. People got me worked up about going to Thailand, and they say pickpocketing is bad, but like, where isn't it? potentially bad does that right. make sense yeah. you could have issues Anywhere. just as bad at my local mall as for, you could for real. at um like in new york new york city now granted new york city there's probably more people so there's probably more possibilities but i totally get that people were like oh you're gonna get your debit card stall oh if you lose your you know this and that you're ruined i mean like <laughs> but i'm pretty i'm pretty good with the flow oh sandy hey sandy sandy this, I love this question. She says, have either of you ever been to Dollywood? Uh, we live like so close to Dollywood. It is yeah. not even funny. We have season passes. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Season passes. That company, was my, company season passes. Well, it was my Christmas. <laughs> it was my, what am I, what am I, uh, what is it? What am I company part? Oh, wow. You got a lot this I, Christmas. I did. Wow. I got spoiled this Christmas. Yeah, I know, head. I know at least three things you got. I'm like, wow. Mm -hmm. For for sure. I got a gold pass. Not even just a normal pass, guys. Right, Rachel. They, Courtney splurged on me and got mm -hmm. me a gold mm -hmm. pass. That means mm -hmm. I get free parking, which parking is not free there. No. We go all the time. 
Well, I want to go all the time this year. We used yeah. to go. I, I went growing up so often. I love yeah. Hollywood. Yeah, James needs his gold pass or his season pass. He, don't need, yeah. he doesn't even need a, the gold pass since you have yours. No, if, if like one person in your group has the gold right. pass, you're good. set. You get like 20% off of a bunch of different oh, yeah. food and stuff. Oh, yeah. So, guys, I accidentally, um, we did the wrong piece. So, I'm bringing back the other piece that I didn't mean to eat. So, look at me. Look Here's at a little me. fingernail. Yeah. Ooh, Sandy said that's how we are with Disney. Oh, <gasps> oh man. What a great place to be I, close oh, I to. I gotta get to Disney in the next couple years. I gotta I get to Disney. Yep. So, okay, I put that piece back and then I weeded out the proper piece. So, there we go. So, woohoo! Got that under control. Looky there. <gasps> Here we go. I love glitter on it. I do too. It's so fun. So, so fun. All right. So now what we're going to be able to do is do a quick little cleanup because I just got iron on in every color all over my space. Do we have any questions? Let us know if you have any questions on the membership. Let us know if you have any um, craft specific questions for today's project because um, we do want to make sure those all get answered. Yeah, yeah. All the fun. But yeah, we love Dollywood. Um, there was something. Oh, that um, there's a big thing that launched today. The longest, oh, this is, this is breaking news. Breaking news. The longest, it can hold 250,000 pounds. Oh. It is a, I can't think of what it's called. It is. Where is it? It's in Gatlinburg, but hold on. I'm, I need to be a better reporter for you guys. Okay. While, while you look at that, Steve said. Hey, Steve. That's how I am at Hershey Park. I love Hershey yeah. World. I love working with Hershey. Hershey Park is awesome. They're great. I got to work there with them in November. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I went there a long time ago to one of our so little cool. homeschool endeavors. It was a really cool park. I wish I had been older so I could ride it. Hear ye, hear ye. I what have the news. Okay. I'm, I'm Rachel, intrigued. I think you're going to be intrigued. Okay. The longest oh, on, pedestrian on, on. bridge in the U.S. opens in Gatlinburg today. Huh? Longest what? pedestrian bridge. Like you walk on it? Yes. Can I have a picture? Are there pictures? It's <gasps> called the Sky Bridge. Oh, my God. Oh, is there pictures? I just started playing a video. <gasps> Look oh at this. Gosh. Look at this. Sky Bridge, Gatlinburg. People, I'm come so visit. I'm so excited. Yeah. Is there like an... Is there any rules or anything? Get great I mean, I'm, a, I'm assuming you have to pay to go on it. Like, let's get real. Um, oh. I want to see if there's, like, actual people there. Okay. Okay. Scabbage. I'll just leave it on your phone screen. Okay, sure. I didn't know. <laughs> this is a hashtag. I don't think it's... Oh, <gasps> look. Yes. Look at this. What the heck? Oh, James already chimed in and said Skybridge. Oh, uh, thanks, well, How did... Uh, you guys thanks, are smarter James. than me. But anyway, thanks, James. Wait, James Langston's Bye, here? James, yeah. James Langston's in the his James house? Is he on the, lunch? In the his house. What's he doing? What's he doing? He's home. How does he, he know? He's in Gatlinburg. I How, think he... I he must have seen it on the he's, WBR listen, Facebook he's, because... He's know. I know. I saw it there, so... Anywho. Hi, okay. James. So, yeah. What's up, James? Okay. So, now, moving on. Do we have any crafty questions before we continue on with our project? Uh, no crafty questions. Okay, I'm about to sneeze again. Okay, you want okay. to switch cameras? No, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna switch okay. cameras. Oh no. No one likes to see anyone. As soon sneeze. as someone says that they're gonna sneeze, they don't have to sneeze, so it's kind of funny. Um, but all right, so we have our t-shirt here. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit, um, just so we have some space and you're not, you know, too tight. So anyway, I'm going to first of all grab our Easy Press. This is the mini six by seven Easy Press. Rachel named her Stella. Oh, he's learning them, guys. I know him. He's a learner. I've them. known them. Um, but what we're going to do is if you're a member, you get the Cricut Printable Guide. We love this thing. And you can flip to your uh, temperature chart and you can look under for cotton, which is 100% cotton. We're going to do 315 and do a warm peel. But you then think, Tanner, we have this glitter iron on. What are we going to do? I, you know, you can look at glitter iron on excuse me just you know glitter because it's all like that so we can flip to that page where it's glitter rachel am i Did missing you just it? Pass it i may have passed it burlap chipboard cotton what do, do, are do, you do, looking do. for glitter it's right there oh i'm literally so crazy here it is you okay Tim? no i'm not i'm not here's glitter 100 percent cotton so it says 330 I think meeting in the middle or going to 3.30 is going to be great. 
So since I just usually use the highest temperature. So since it's, you know, 315, we're going to go up to 330. And we're just going to do the whole project at 330 just because it's going to be easier that way. You won't burn it, guys. You will swear. not burn it. Just don't want to keep it over there longer than 30 seconds. So now this is going to preheat. Um, but then we can, you know, look at our t-shirt. Again, this is a kid's medium. And um, Tracy said, do you have any how-tos on sizing? The shirts, um, like the vinyl for the shirts. So let's talk about that because we do not have like a specific video on it, but we have lots of projects where we explain it. So I like to measure. You know, if you do not have a little measuring tape, which did I lose mine again? I'm literally losing mine. Did you throw it on the floor again? <gasps> Is it under me? Is it back behind you again? No. And while well, Tanner's trying to find that, so Dorinda funny. said, do you have a video on removing HTV from a shirt? We yes, do. Yes, I it's, love. It's literally titled How to Remove HTV. Yeah, guys, it. here's a great tip. If you are not already going to makersgonnalearn.com anyway, head on over there, go to our videos category, um, and just type in remove HTV, or just search for whatever you want, and you'll go find videos. So look right here. You can go right here and learn removing heat transfer vinyl from fabric, how to remove Cricut iron on vinyl. This video is phenomenal, fantastic, and you guys are going to love it. It's this little product. The right site's there. a one stop shop, guys. Guys, don't know if you know that's that. That's why we not. love it. So, yeah, you guys get everything you need right there. So, anyway, what I was going to say was I like to measure um, using something like this and be like, hey, I know I don't want to go anything more than eight inches wide. Eight or nine inches wide is the widest I like to go. So now what we're going to do before we move forward is talk about centering your project. Now here's how I center projects. I like to take the two ends right here with where the sleeves start. I like to take it and fold it um, right here. And I like to create a little iron fold. So this is why the Easy Press is so awesome. So I just create, you know, this beautiful little fold here. Crease. Okay. It's a nice crease. little crease. And then you can open it up and you're going to see you have this perfect line. You have this indention. It's faint. It's perfect. It's easy. Um, what you're going to do now is you want to make sure you position your project about two inches, especially with a kid's shirt. You can do two or three inches, two or three inches below the neckline. So we can start our project maybe at like two and a half, I think would be good. For kids, yeah. I would For say. kids, yeah. Regular adult t-shirts, I would definitely say you could do, um, you know, like three at least. So... You can just kind of, you know, build your project out. Use that line as your like center guide yeah. there. It's a great little tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, you can give this space. And I like to just lay it out before I even start going, just so I can see what my project would In look vision. like. In the vision, you can see this. Now we're gonna work layer by layer today. Sometimes you could cut the transfer tape and try to hit it multiple pieces. We're using our little baby easy press yeah. very intentionally. And Tanner, we're not, I'm not trying to insult anyone's crafting ability. No, don't. But why on earth would you not do it? Like why is it, why can you not just do it like that? Well, because it has this transfer tape. So if we took this and put it down, we're not actually adhering to the fabric. We're adhering to that transfer yeah. tape. Yeah. And so then the piece out work. in the, the, yeah. that's this a good here. thing too. It's cut, barely overlapping, but still enough to be like, no, that's mm -hmm. a different layer. Well, because if you pull up this large layer, you'll see right here, on this little piece is actually the same situation. It was touching transfer tape. Transfer tape. Yeah. So we're gonna peel these two up and we're gonna hit this black layer first and feel free to preheat your surface if you'd like. We're using this Easy Press mat behind us, under us, and it's a great cushion and it's actually gonna send that heat right back up to let you hit the project. It's so designed for this. It's designed this, for this yeah. and it's super awesome. So we're gonna take this, look at how adorable this is, 330 degrees are using our beautiful Cricut Easy Press on um, Cricut Iron-On. If you all are shopping Cricut, be sure to use our Shop Cricut link down below if you all do not already. And you can use the coupon code MGL10 at checkout for 10% off and free shipping on orders over 50. So that's super fun. But guys, definitely get registered for the Cricut Pro class. We're so excited. I have not let, I mean, you all can still use the $30 off Pro 2 coupon code which is super important. So take advantage of that. Read about some of the sneak peek tutorials we have. I cannot wait to share even more with you guys. That launches June 7th. So be sure to get it while you can. And now we're going to peel this off. You can see bubbles and it's super good. So bubbles can... are a good sign. Oh yeah. That means it's adhered to your shirt and not 
the transfer tape anymore. But do not throw that transfer tape away. Do not. Keep that guy. So now we're going to put our out. You just get to line this out however. Um, and then here's what a lot of people do. They lay this down with the transfer tape and then they take the easy press and go straight down. What you do not want to do is that because you could, if your hot 330 degree iron is touching your raw bare, bare yeah. um, iron on, that is when you could melt it and get bad results. Easily. So you just got to keep your little piece. You protect don't even have to buy house. anything else. Just protect it. So lay that down. I like to make sure all my iron on is protected. I don't want to be able to see anything else. And then we're going to hit that for 30 more seconds. Now, some people would argue that you would want to do less time because you, you know, that black layer is now getting hit for a minute. Yeah, like they want to add it up to a full, full 30 yeah, seconds. So it would be like 15, 15. I've actually had craft bells trying to only same, go half the same. time. I think it's people too scared to try thinking they're going to burn it in yes. like, you know, don't do that. You're not going to burn it. Definitely not. Um, so then we can peel it up right here. And that's just, you know, what we found through our trial and error. Um, this is just personal preference. If you, you know, need that, if you've watched another video and I mean, clearly we just did a minute on the black layer and she's good. So now we're going to take our glitter and lay that down right here. Oh, Look at this, this rage. Is this is pretty adorable. And the other one was kind of, I know I had glitter in it, but I think it was still like boyish. Uh, yeah, it was like It was very boy. gender neutral. Like yeah. it was kind of, well, it was kind of guys. It could have been for a boy or girl, but this sure. one's like girly perfect love. You know, well, there you go, Rage. I'm here to please. So now we're just going to, <laughs> you know, please. I just covered up again all our layers. You always want to make sure your iron-on is covered and not going to get affected by hit from your easy press. So all of this is covered and we're just gonna hit that for 30 seconds. We're almost done. So look at that. Any questions? Um, do, 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 do. Everyone is very excited about the pro class. I'm so Everyone's excited. excited about the pro class. We have such a great group and I'm super excited for the certification. Now guys, if you are not already learned about the pro class, we'll let this cool for a second so I can share with you guys about the pro class because it's really good. So here's what you guys need to do go over to the YouTube channel. Rachel has been dropping that link. Look for your green little hearts um, and you're going to love it. I'm just going to go to my channel. But I want to walk you guys through this because if you're not registered already for it, it's something awesome to get registered for because we love it. So I want to click the link. There we go. So here we go. It is going to teach you how to become a die cutting pro. Oh, sorry. I, no, I click buttons, not even the mouse and it does. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, what I do. Okay, hang on, hang on. You're good. Okay, we're you're good. good. Anyway, My so, you know, if you're really wanting to take your cricket level up a notch, if you feel like you are ready to become a pro, you know, launching June 7th, we have a brand new class for you guys. Um, you can get a sneak peek and learn about new um, or fun design space skills, make practical projects using the knife blade, create different types of wreaths using um, different tools. And we're going to teach you how to do these on both the Cricut Maker and the Cricut Explorer too. So we'll have alternatives for each um, tutorial. Which is really neat. We're teaching the knockout method. We're teaching 3D projects. And a lot of these projects will be for my new home. So you guys know they're gonna be awesome. We're gonna teach you how to master drop shadows, how to engrave with your machine, working with photos in design space, how to pick complementing fonts, glass etching like a pro, pattern fill projects, print and cut projects for your home and more. 20 projects is in this course. And then at the end, you also get your ebook version of the whole book, which is awesome. And if you are really serious, out of the 20 projects, you can get registered today. And if you create a minimum of three of the projects, you are going to get a Die Cutting Pro certified and a little signed thing from me. So, which is adorable. So awesome. We're super excited. So I like to let the glitter cool. So that's kind of why we took that little intermission because glitter does like to cool. And guys, look at our t-shirt. I love that. I love it. I mean, you guys, you have peace out high school and then you can also, you know, peace out to whatever grade you're in. I mean, this is just so much 
fun. And this kind of shows you a little diversity in the font. Like oh, yeah. 100% personalization, customization with all the fonts. And again, that's a yearly perk, guys. Mm -hmm. And you do not get this font and all the fonts, the commercial license or anything without our yearly membership. Our monthly membership tier is awesome. You get lots of benefits, lots of perks. You get cut files, the printable guides, everything like that. But if you're a year member, you get our fonts. You get um, a lot of great perks like our commercial license. You get three e-courses completely, completely free. And not to mention the yearly membership is $48 less, less. than the monthly mm -hmm. membership and you get every resource we have to give. Exactly. So you get, you know, these are just the different tiers, but this is $15.99 a month. If we scroll up right here, you guys can see this awesome breakdown. You can see best value is $15.99 a month compared to $19.99 a month being monthly. So this is a lump sum built every 12 months, but you get the most benefits for the least amount of money when you commit to a year. So that's awesome. We're super excited for that. We love everything we've got. We love sharing with you guys these font projects. It's a it's um, Friday, so if you have any kids piecing out of school next week, this is a great time to take advantage and make this t-shirt. I absolutely love the format for this, Rach. I think, yeah. I think we teamed up and did really good on oh, this yeah. one. I and love, someone love, mentioned love that. that the uh, peace signs were different in the um, in the other one. It wasn't mirrored is the only thing. Oh yeah, this is if you didn't mirror it, this is if you mirror it. And that's a cool example of, you know, in yesterday's project, I told you guys we're mirroring even though we don't have to. You don't technically on images like this have to mirror it. Right. Um, but you can see what happens if you don't. Looks um, fine either way. Looks fine either way to me, but it's definitely yeah. personal, personal preference. So are there any questions? Rach? Of course, Tanner. Hey. There's always questions. Hey, friends. Uh, first, um, let me see here. Tasha said the yearly hey, membership Tasha. is the way to go. Oh, yay. Thank you. Tasha. Thank you, Tasha. Glad and to have Nikki you. Nikki said, I signed up for Thank both you. the pro class and the summer summit. We do get a lot of questions on this. Is there somewhere I can go in my dashboard that shows that I have signed up? No, there is not a way right as of now that shows that you've signed up for those classes. That PayPal receipt, that's your, your best ticket. friend. We will be adding those to access eventually. So if you, you know, we, our goal is to have, like if you attended a past summit, um, to access all those videos since those were on the old site. So we're migrating those over and then all the new summits and courses like the Cricut Pro class will be on the new site when they launch. So the Summer Summit, um, when we our supply list launch and things like that, we'll have that on the site and you'll be able to find those under courses or summits. Yeah, but so, do not worry. As long no, as you paid for it, yeah. you've got your seat, guys. You've got your ticket. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, don't worry at all. You're all good. You're on the list. And guys, if you're just tuning in and you missed it from the beginning of the video, we're asking you guys to share your Friday moments. Um, just a moment that you're really happy about Friday. Some people said they had the day off. Some people, you know, I said, what was mine? Did you tell me yours? I don't think you did. Um, what was my Friday moment? Oh, my workout or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Taylor had, a good had to pick his workout at his Friday moment. Ooh. I don't know. I had a really good iced coffee, too. I don't know. Okay. Well, yeah. So, anywho, what was your Friday moment, Rachel? Or you can talk about one that you may be having today, like just anything, really. Well, the steaks that you're grilling tonight. Oh, they're already marinating. They're moment. marinating right now. Yeah. Okay. Tanner's like a yeah. grill master. I'm so, so excited. I'm, pumped. I'm making cupcakes. Yep. It's going to be a party. It's going <laughs> to be a true on party. So, I'm super excited. Um, but yeah. It's and like what is the fun. font again, Elizabeth says? <gasps> That's a great question, Elizabeth. It nap is time. nap time. It's a so. cute font too. Let me see. Oh, Let me switch so cameras quirky. again so you can see this. Just again, we cool. love this project. If you guys are just tuning in, be sure to watch the beginning of the video because we designed this project. We used a cut file and we used a font. So this is the nap time font and this is the um, a dingbat from the cut file. Peace out. The piece out. Mm -hmm. um, so we love that. So we love being able to give you guys this inspiration all because of our membership. So that's the number one way to support what we do here and get crafty is becoming a member. If you're a member and you're watching, thank you, thank you, thank you. We love having our members here um, to get more inspiration on using your cut files and fonts. So that's a lot of fun. So yeah, any questions? Um, yeah, no questions, no we questions. got some more Fridays. Okay, yeah. More Fridays to Yay. end this, okay? Yay. One of the Fridays from Miss Sandy was a big weight loss for the week. Congratulations, Sandy. Woohoo! I found all the weight you lost. I found <laughs> Tanner found it in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kelly said, it's the last day of my work week. Yay! Absolutely, yes. And then um, some people are saying, is it the first little cookout party time in the new house? Yeah, it is. 
is it is it is they're all it excited is. For we're super you. excited it's like a pre-housewarming party it's right. like it's like breaking the, it in it's like the true like good close friends right obviously rachel's coming she's right. breaking in the kitchen aid someone um kindle that you've watched on live streams which we need to have her back because we're always talking we're gonna yes. do some nurse projects with her i actually already decided she's a nurse as you guys know she finally got a nursing job and practicing nursing um so she's great but she wants to do some nurse things she has a t-shirt idea and i thought we could do this with a font um she wants to make a shirt that says world's most okayest nurse or something oh, I like love that it, yeah yeah and that's she's pretty cute. she's pretty she has that dry humor yeah so i love it she'll that's love totally it she can wear a t-shirt on fridays and yeah. she said oh my uh world's okayest nurse my patients will love this and i was like mm. No, God. I don't know about Depends that. Depends on their personality. Yeah. That'd be cute. But no, she got Tanner a kitchen aid as she a did. gift. I know. And I told so her sweet. I'd break it in by making cupcakes. And yeah. at first I thought she wasn't coming because you sent me the text. Oh, and I'm gosh. like, Kendall, you got to come. No, she, she's she been coming. She just wasn't going to miss the dinner portion. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, she was supposed to be somewhere else. But she canceled her plans. Her and her husband decided not to have a date night. And to come over to my well, house. it will be a date night just with way more people, <laughs> which is fine. <laughs> you know, that's fine. That's right. Fine. So right. anyway. Debbie said her Friday moment was being able to watch you and listen to me live. That's so sweet, guys. We're just so excited to be back. Yes. I love it. And guys, I love wearing, I, Rachel, you asked me why we're, we're wearing long it's sleeves. It's too hot for that. Well, it is, but. It's thin, but I, I get But it. people really compliment me in this. Michael Krieger asked where I got well, it. Well, black today. is slimming mm -hmm. too. But this not that fabric, you're not slim. No, 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 I'm not but... slim. Um, you know, if you think I am, it's because of the shirt. Oh, jeez. Um, but sure. yeah, and I actually bought this at a thrift store, so I paid like eight bucks for it. It's probably like thirty. That's yeah. a win. Yeah, I love thrift store finds. Oh yeah. Thrift store. Uh, it was a second hand. I don't know if it was technically a thrift store. It was like a. Um, I was you... there when you bought it. It was oh, what's Planet... that called? Plato's closet. Plato's closet. I don't I know. Stop thinking of playing it. Well, Planet I got Fitness. There anyways. <laughs> so, <laughs> Either way. But anyway, um, we've had so much fun today. I love this project. Um, I'm gonna give this to somebody. I can't. It's a kids' medium. I'm gonna find someone that's graduating high Kendall school and a wear kids' it. Court medium. Court could wear it. Oh, that's court's true. Not graduating high school though. True. But anyway, guys, if you have any questions, be sure to email us hi at makersgonnalearn.com with your customer service inquiries or anything that you guys may need. Um, if you need anything, be sure to check out makersgonnalearn.com and search on our video categories. If you are needing a membership, go to makersgonnalearn.com slash join. First link down below. Rachel's dropped it in the comments. I'll pop it right here. One last time. And drop what? that pro class one more time Pro, because if you're class. not registered, yes, yes. use the coupon code PRO2 for green registration. Hearts, guys. You'll get it. Yes, the green hearts. What, was, what were you about to say? Uh, the question. Hi. What is it? Tanner's so good at this too, guys. Ooh. I wouldn't ask anybody about Tanner. What? <clears throat> what's 1.30 in Mountain Time? 1.30 Mountain Time? It is 11.30. Yes. A.M.? 11.30 a.m. So Paige was asking. Let's, let's go through this. Uh, 1.30 is our time Eastern. 12.30 Central. 11.30 Mountain. 10.30 Pacific. Mm. Again, we'll go that now the other way. Mm. If you're wanting huh? to watch the you're new show backwards. times. If you want to watch the show, our show no, right off, here every weekday um, at 1.30 Eastern. And you're on the Pacific Coast, on the West Coast. 10.30 a.m. 11.30 for our Mountain Time friends, um, 12.30 for our Central friends, and 1.30 for our amazing East Coast friends where we're, we're based. So, Tanner thinks he's better than me. So much fun. Do that. Rachel, <laughs> you, it's just an hour. You just subtract. I know, but I can't think of which one goes. To, uh, I do have to say 1.30. I got a D in geography. 1.30 takes my, me. My, uh, my teacher didn't want me in her class again, so I just... I, was pro I probably got an F. She was like, give her a D. Move her um, on. 1.30 is one of those odd times to be able to calculate time. But if it was like 12.30, then I'd be like, oh, it's 9.30 on the West Coast. Like, you, you, it's just like easy to subtract. But, you know, with but other you, times. you travel, too. You have to know your time zones. I could tell you the time that you can watch the show. Um, well, I would say that. So here's the thing. I think I would be better at other countries' time zones if we didn't do the fall back and fall up. Because other oh. countries do not participate in it, so sometimes it's um, on. That's only us. Yeah. Well, thanks. not always, not just us, but a lot of countries just don't do don't it. Don't produce it. So, like that, the Philippines don't. don't do it. Thailand doesn't do it. A lot of Asian Asia countries that I like to travel to um, don't take part in it. Hmm. So, um, yeah, sometimes you're like eleven uh, hours ahead, eleven oh, hours gosh, behind. Oh gosh, that's so. Sometimes confusing. twelve hours. Yeah, I will. I will clearly just boldly admit that I have absolutely no smart sense, but my common sense is pretty good. I got. Well, 
I got great A common sense, but smarts, like if you throw a math test in front of me, forget it. I'm not smart either when it comes to like actual things like math. Someone, okay, this is funny. What? <laughs> this is funny and we can talk about it because no one actually that I know watches this. So I have a friend that works at a local grocery store. I have a family member, quote unquote family member. Quote unquote friend. Friend. Right. Family member goes through the lane to check out with said family member. The family member goes through my friend's lane. Right, okay. Talks about... Lane, but by lane he means like cashier Cashier lane. lane. Yeah, like checking his grocery. Talks account. about how I'm, how I run my business. Like, like what I even do. Like asking what I do to my friend. But this is like, a family member. My family member, yeah. I mean, she okay. kind of, she knows, but she, I think she was just talking. And then she said, yeah, I talked to him. You can tell he's not really, um, you can tell he's not really like brain smart, but he must be business smart. Oh my, must be. He must be oh business smart. Oh my gosh, smart. it's so funny. People would so say that then, to me. So sure. then, I proceed to see this lady <gasps> yesterday. You? Oh no. And she said, I just love your little friend. And then I was like, oh do you? Because he already told me about this. Yeah, I'd have been like, well, my friend has a big mouth. So I was like, I, I didn't even, that. I didn't even say anything because it was just Good. so funny. Wow, you took a high road there. It was just, it was just really oh. funny that like. I know how, I'm not book smart. I would I'm not book smart. I, I would gladly tell you if you put a you like a map in front of me of the world and asked me to. Oh. I would so embarrass. Mm -hmm. I've embarrassed you and everybody else. So funny. And guys, if you're just tuning in and you missed the live show, this is like the after show. Um, so just rewind. Go back to the beginning. It's a great project. So anyway, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching with us. I hope you all um, stay crafty this weekend. We may be able to pop in. I may pop in. Who knows? We'll see you all soon. Okay. Any other questions? Nope. Everybody's happy. All right. See you guys. Bye.